Hey everybody, today I'm going to teach you a little bit about the elements and the principles of design. We are first going to start with the elements, which are the tools to create art. First up is line, which can be any type of line, horizontal, vertical, diagonal, straight, curved, dotted, broken, thick, thin, and so many more. Next up is shape. A shape is a two-dimensional or flat figure. It can be geometric, like a square or a circle, or organic, like any other shape. Next up is form. Form is a three-dimensional figure. This is something that you know would actually take up space in a, the real world. It can also be geometric, like a cube or a sphere, as we see here, or it can be organic, like people, furniture, animals, things like that. Next up, we have color. And color refers to wavelengths of light. It is the hue, the value, the intensity, the temperature. It also relates to the tint, tone, and shade. Next up is texture. Texture is the feel, appearance, thickness, or stickiness of a surface. For example, here we have kind of like a snake skin. You want to touch it. You feel like if you touched it, it would feel like a snake, possibly. Next up is space. It is the area within or between Im images or parts of an image. It is positive and or negative. In this case, we have the space would be the white area between the two semicircles. Up next is value. And value is just the lightness or darkness of an image and the range between. This was our last element, and now we are going to move on to the principles. The principles are how you use the elements to make art. So first up is pattern. And pattern is just a regular arrangement of alternated or repeated elements. For example, here it is squares. Up next is contrast, and contrast is the juxtaposition of different elements of design. For example, rough and smooth textures or dark and light values. This is done in order to highlight their difference and or create visual interest. Up next is emphasis, and emphasis is putting special attention or giving importance to a part of an artwork. Emphasis can be achieved through placement, contrast, color, size, and repetition. In this example, emphasis is achieved by having a circle that is bigger than the others and a different color. Up next is balance. And a feeling of balance results when the elements of design are arranged symmetrically or asymmetrically to create the impression of equality in weight or importance. So for example here, even though we have a square that's bigger than all the other squares, it feels like this composition is balanced. The next up is proportion. And proportion is the relationship between objects with respect to size, number, and so on, including the relationship between parts of a whole. So in this case, it, the proportions to the smaller square to the bigger square are different. Next up is harmony. And harmony is the arrangement of elements to give the viewer the feeling that all parts of a piece form a coherent whole. In this composition, we have two different shapes, and when we put them together, they seem cohesive. They seem like they go together. They form 
another shape. For example, it could be a sun or a flower. Our last principle is movement. And movement is the use of recurrent elements to direct the eye through the image, the way the elements are organized to lead the eye to the focal area. The eye can be directed, for example, along edges or by means of shape and color. In this composition, our eye is drawn to either the top left corner or the bottom right corner of the square by the pink circles. This is our last principle. I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you have a wonderful day.